Well, two law firms are filing suits in the mid-Michigan flooding disaster. Jeffrey Feiger has filed claims on behalf of flood victims. It says the owners of the dams in the state of Michigan were negligent in maintaining the dams. The other lawsuit was filed by Liddell and Dubin PC. It also states that the state of Michigan and county officials are to blame for the dam failures. Both are seeking monetary damages to help the flood victims. The, the disaster has raised questions about whether our state is equipped to prevent other dams from failing. Well, tonight the seven investigators are digging into the 2,600 dams across our state and the small team responsible for keeping them safe. Seven investigator Ross Jones live with what he has learned. Ross? Dave Carolyn, good evening. Michigan averages about two dam failures a year. Most of those, thankfully, are very minor. But experts say thanks to global warming and aging infrastructure, we can expect those failures to become more common going forward. They was watching houses float down the river and boats and sheds. When the Edenville and Sanford dams failed, more than 10,000 were forced to evacuate. Businesses and homes were lost. The damage for the whole area around here is, is just uh, it, it's just tremendous. But in a state of more than 2,600 dams, are we in a position to stop it from happening again? There are a lot of these dams out there that are not in great shape. They have some sort of an identified deficiency that needs to be corrected. Mark Ogden is with the Association of Dam Safety Officials, who says he's come to expect failures like what we saw in Midland County. Not surprised necessarily. Uh, maybe somewhat resigned. Ogden says most dam failures come down to funding. In the case of the Edenville Dam, owner Boyce Hydro said it didn't have the funds needed to make repairs that regulators wanted. Hugh McDermott Jr. is a spokesman for EGLE, the state's environmental Great Lakes and Energy Department. We can identify problems, we can order them fixed, but if the owners of these dams refuse to fix them or are unable to comply for financial reasons, we have limited, limited tools in our toolbox. In 2018, dams in Michigan were graded a C- by the American Society of Civil Engineers. Jacob Rushlow is the president of their Michigan chapter. The average U.S. state spends about $695 per dam and safety regulation. Michigan only spends about $374 per dam across the state. A dam's average life expectancy is 50 years, but more than two thirds of Michigan's dams are older than that. 271 are over 100 years old. And the team that regulates almost 1,100 dams across the state, it's essentially two people. One in charge of the state's upper half, the other who tackles the lower half. Two inspectors being responsible for regulating 1,100 dams doesn't seem like enough inspectors. Um, yeah, well, I, uh, I understand that uh, my agency, uh, Eagle, used to have a lot more inspectors uh, for dams. Um, I don't know exactly how that, uh, that number dwindled, but that is, uh, that's how many we have, and, uh, and it's, it's, it's a tall order for them. What it appears to happen in the case of these private uh, dams, uh, folks are happy to take the profits when they have them, and then when there's a trouble, they say, well, now the cost is too great for what I earn each year. Senator Gary Peters says when private dam owners don't make repairs that could impact the safety of the public, federal and state regulators need to step in. But then there has to be teeth in the regulations to force uh, those owners of those companies uh, to make the types of uh, repairs or structural improvements necessary to protect the safety of people who live downstream. Of nearly 1,100 dams regulated by the state today, 79 are rated unsatisfactory or poor. As of this afternoon, the state couldn't tell me exactly how many of those are considered high or significant hazard potential dams, where failure could lead to loss of life or property. And dams in Michigan are inspected every three, four, or five years, depending on their hazard potential. Those inspections are actually ordered and paid for by the dam's owner. They are then shared with the state and one of their two inspectors who reviews them. We're live in Detroit tonight. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. Ross, thank you.